Hey, good morning, guys. I wanted to do part two, and I'm doing part two just for repetition, and it's so important. Um, just the anointing within, Christ within, of how to tap into this anointing for guidance, to, if you need guidance on any decision you need to make, or to solve any problem. And, you know, it, it's it's really fascinating to me. It says, uh, it's the Father's great pleasure to give us the kingdom, and the kingdom is literally his godly rule and reign. Like, you're supposed to rule and reign. And uh, that's that's not from this um, authoritarian thing. It's to rule and reign in love, where meaning that every decision, everything, uh, you can see the outcome where it's a win-win for all parties. And it's not us versus them. It's literally uh, life for every party involved. And so um, he's given us this kingdom. It doesn't come with observation. And if you look at all the scriptures, it talks about the secret place, the hidden place, um, the anointing is often personified as the woman, like the Proverbs 31 woman. I, I did a, a message on that a, a few weeks ago where, <laughs> ladies, this isn't about you. Praise God. You don't have to live up to this superhuman woman that would you just be exhausted. It's who can find this woman. And uh, it's the woman within you. It's the, the Holy Spirit is feminine in scripture, meaning it'll take any seed that you do within and create any life you want from within effortlessly, which is totally grace. And so it says it's like merchant ships from afar. I mean, you can't see these ships, but they're excited with anticipation because they know that the wealth of, of these ships is coming in. And so they, they, uh, they describe it like that. And, um, and that's really what I want people to understand is I want, to, I want people to experience God, not argue about scripture, because most people interpret the scriptures completely incorrectly, in my opinion. It's allegory. It's story. It's beautiful story. In fact, I was sharing last night in fellowship here. I said, the more I understand scripture, the more accurate it is where growing up, the, the interpretations I was given of, of you're dirty and you're a sinner and all these different things. It's not even close to what the writers were writing about. They were writing about two beautiful love covenants, starting from Genesis 1, the very left off, the very core and center of what scripture is all about. And the first verse of scripture, the Western interpretation completely misses 11,050 times. And they don't translate it once because they don't know what it is. Well, it's beautiful. It's it's the strength and the unlimited power of God in the two covenants, the two seeds. And uh, uh, it's really fascinating to me. So, um, and the other thing that I've been just sharing with people over and over and over is the fact that um, every prayer verse is 100% assurance. There's no maybes. There's no ifs. Every prayer verse is 100% assurance. There's no maybes. Oh, I might do that. No, the spirit is submissive to man. I think the journey, guys, is this amazing um, realization that the world bends and shapes to the holiest of holies, which is the human mind. And this anointing, this anointing of Christ is in every human being on the planet. It has to be. From the beginning, he ruached or breathed his spirit into man. And so uh, anyway, I just want to heal the scriptures for you, how good they are. They're, wouldn't it be like God that he is love and he's only love and all this other talk that we've been taught is you're dirty and God had to have a plan B because we were so bad. No, it doesn't even talk about that. I promise you, uh, sin and all these different things were mistranslated. 180 degrees, actually, what it is. Instead of Amaros, without your portion, it literally says the strength of God portion everyone will receive. So but <laughs> that's a whole other talk. So the science gets it. And so what my my opinion is this. If the scriptures are, have truth in them, which I believe they do, more than, more than most people, I would say, that read the scriptures, is... Uh, then it should not be opposed to science, what the rest of the world is doing. In fact, they should be very accurate. They should be um, confirming the same thing, which I think they exactly do. So I just want to share a couple of things. And we'll, we'll teach you how to just tap in where if all the prayer verses are 100% assurance of this anointing Christ within, the, the unlimited power of God to do anything for you within is there. And it is. Um, how did, what, a, what an amazing gift and how to go tap into that. And so that's what it's all about. But uh, let me just show you one thing here. Let me share screen. And uh, um, some of you guys may not know that uh, um, we do a thing called Inspire 100. And if you want to give, you can go to freedomministries.org. It's probably the easiest. And when you check out, just uh, put Inspire in there. And it's really, um, it was, a, we wanted 100 of us to give $100 a month for situations like this. And so Debbie in Thailand, she said, these two little kids you see there, kept coming to the center for food and they never had any clothes. They just had their shorts on, as you see here. And so she went down into the slums 
to, to find out what was going on. And that's a picture of their dad. He's got neck injuries and leg injuries where he, he hasn't been able to work. And so um, she said, he literally lives in a hole in the wall. Like that's where they live. It's a, they carved out a little space and they said, you can live here. And that's all their earthly possessions. You know, they, you can see some cardboard boxes and a little mat. They all three lay on the floor there. And so she had been praying like, Oh, how do, I want to change the, the life for this person. And then that week inspire said, you know what, we're going to, we're going to pay to put them in their own place. They all have their own beds, actually have a kitchen. Um, you, you know, it's you and I wouldn't call it much of a home, but for them, it's, it's huge and uh, pay for um, a year's worth of their food, their medical, uh, their clothes. Why? Yeah. For compassion, but more importantly, as Colossians says, to teach them who they are, the giving guys just gets us in um, not to continue giving for the rest of their life. What a, that's silly. We're not going to talk to him about evangelizing, get Christ in you too late. Christ isn't every human being on the planet. What we really want to do, what Colossians says is teach them every man, present every man complete or teleos in the anointing, meaning his name is Kai. Kai, do you know who you are? That you literally have the strength and the power of God within you, where you can, when you know how to tap into it, you can take yourself from this hole in the wall and literally design the most beautiful life for you and your boys that you want through the power of God that's in you. That's what true evangelism should be. Not talking about, oh, you're going to go to hell. He's in hell. This is hell. There, you, you know, like, it's probably like, oh, this got to be better than this, you know, with the traditional message. No, the true message, the glorious riches that have been revealed to every, all the Gentiles. It's really just says ethnos and Colossians, which every ethnicity in the world has the, the, the anointing of God within them. And science knows this. They can teach anybody to do this. And so anyway, this will be cool. So we've taken care of their physical needs, their health needs, their, their living needs, et cetera. But the real, like I told Debbie, I said, now the real test is to teach them who they are. And we'll show you the, the progress of like how, what you can do with your imagination to take yourself from here to live any life you want, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, which is really cool. So anyway, this is perfect for what we're trying to teach. So let me just share one other thing uh, quickly with you guys, but that's what we do with Inspire. It's mainly for single moms and situations like this to teach them they have everything within. It may seem like they don't have anything without, uh, but you got God within. What else do you need? Nothing. And so anyway, it's uh, do most people believe that. No, but that's why they've been so poorly trained in what Christianity is all about. Um, so let me just show you other, one other thing, because to tap into God for anything, you know, if every verse, he says, I will give you anything that you lay hold of so that your joy may be full. A good mom and dad wants to uh, uh, wants to see their kids happy. And every prayer verse is about that where you see these like, hey, this anointing has been given for you. It's to serve you. It's submissive to you. Why? So your joy may be complete. It may be full. So you can actually live this wonderful, beautiful, creative life uh, of humanity that, that we're here to experience. And so if you have, uh, uh, you'll notice something in Mark 11, and I'll just show you that very quickly again, and then we'll actually do it and give you some examples. So you can make this practically because, uh, so Mark 11, because of this, I say to you, all things, whatever praying, all that you ask for, and it's really this lay hold of um, that you desire, believe you have received it, and it'll be to you. And this receive is this aorist tense, and we don't really have anything in English, but the best way to describe it in English would be it's past tense with ongoing results, meaning it's already happened, and I'm continuing to enjoy it. So anything I lay hold of, if, I've, if I believe I already have it, and he's given you everything, guys, to, that pertains to life and godliness, everything. Everything's available. Every possibility is already available to you right now. And so you can choose to live any life you want. You can choose to lay hold of anything you want. And we're going to teach you how to do that, which really just happened into the anointing. And the amazing thing, what scripture confirms and all the sciences confirms, that somehow some ridiculously, mysteriously powerful anointing of God within every human draws that to us, or we, it brings it about into the physical realm for us, which is really cool. Now, the key is the, it's past tense. It's already happened. And so to, to find guidance, if you have any problem, let me just stop this here a minute. It's simply this, is you can lay it before God. And it's in this secret place, guys. It's in this, it's this beautiful place of rest. And so you can breathe 10 times. You know, there's different techniques. You can roll your eyes up until they flutter, like you're looking straight through your eyelids until you feel them flutter for a few seconds and then just rest. Because all that's doing is your body's going into a very suggestive state. 
where your heart, this woman, this, uh, she's like a merchant ship. Oh, you want me to give you that? Okay. And it goes to work, literally bringing it to you. That's the mystery of the kingdom of God. It's, it's not, it's in the secret place. It happens with, from within. And so, but it really is that. So you can go, Hey God, I've got this question and I need some guidance on. And then you see yourself past tense. It's already happened. So you see yourself enjoying, and it could be as simple as this. Right before you go to bed or in the morning, when you just calm yourself down after taking some breaths and, and uh, you go into the alpha and theta state, it's just the suggestive creative part of you. In fact, the most suggestive creative part is Delta when you're sleeping. That's why right before you go to bed, if you do this, it's powerful guys. Cause you wake up expectantly knowing that this woman within you, the spirit within you is going to work. The anointing within you is going to work to bring it to you. But you simply see yourself just going, man, I had this question. I'm blown away how easy and how fast it was God. And you see yourself present tense, already enjoying the answer. You don't have to know what the answer is, but you feel the relief. You feel the peace. You feel that, wow, it's so amazing that the spirit is submissive to me and answers me quickly. Guys, it's like, um, I was sharing this last night. You know, my friend, Sulan Romico, they have six boys, all wrestlers and just athletes and full of energy. It would be like this. If I said, hey, guys, um, Romico, you're telling your boys, hey, I'm taking you to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo in Colorado Springs tomorrow. And then they, they wake up and most Christian teachers are like, be patient. No, the kids are totally expecting dad to bring them because he said, well, I'm trying to show you the spirit is unlimited and it's all powerful and it's 100%. It never, it never says no. It's submissive to man. So I expectantly look for it within the week, the answer. And so you see yourself just going, it feels so amazing. I had this question and in a couple of days you answer God. I'm blown away. I'm in such peace. It's so awesome. Now I give it to you and completely trust you to do it and then go to sleep. The, the key is you, you don't have to carry anything, guys. The spirit within you is that one that brings it to you, the anointing within you that brings it to you. And it's powerful. It does it all for you. So you rest in that joy of knowing it's going to happen. And within the week, look for clear, um, uh, clear answers that, oh, it's obvious what I'm supposed to do. And it'll be that way. My friend Chris was here. I made a, he had a, a big financial decision. And we, so we, we talked through this. I said, you know what, tonight, just go, hey, God, I got this problem. And I really don't know what to do. I'm kind of conflicted. Um, both answers could be right. And so we just said, you know what? It feels so amazing that you answered me so clearly. And I knew exactly what to do. You experienced the joy of the, the prayer that's already answered, guys. Remember that air is tense. It's past tense with ongoing results. You experience it as if it's already happened. Not asking God, please, God, give it to me. No, it's air is tense. I believe you have already received it. And then it'll be to you. So you enjoy it as if it's already real. So he's, he was enjoying the, the feeling that how amazed he was that God answered him. And then last night he was sharing, he goes, within a week, out of nowhere, this guy I meet starts telling me and give me the answer. I'm like, praise God, that's so cool. And the same thing is any kind of apparent problem. I've got this situation in my life, whether it's financial, whether it's health, whether it's whatever. You know, if it's health, it could be you see yourself going, God, I have this, this thing. And... <clears throat> And then calm yourself down, take some deep breaths. And then your imagination in your mind, see and hear yourself say this. You're going, I remember I had this pain or whatever it was. Let's just use that. I remember when I had that pain. It's amazing that it's gone. It happened so fast. I'm in awe of how good you are to me, God. Thank you, Father. And you enjoy it as if it's already happened. And then when you're nodding off to sleep, it's like, I just give this to you, God, and you're going to do it all for me. You're going to solve every problem, resolve it exactly how I just experienced it and go to sleep, completely not trusting in your own efforts, but completely trusting in the anointing within you, that woman within you, that's submissive to you, that'll bring you any of your desire. And then with the next few days, look for expectancy that is actually happening. It doesn't have to completely be uh, finished. But anytime you think of it, you think of it that this already happens. Like, oh, it feels so amazing. I gave this to you and you completely resolved every problem for me. That's it, guys. And just trusting that anointing within you, that the goodness of God within you. Now, let me just share some, uh, some evidence of this. And, um, but that's really how you do it. And I'm going to show you that scripture and science, all the, all the people that get true results over and over and over. 
um, say the same thing. It's experiencing as if it's already done. And so um, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, I've done everything just because I, I go where anywhere where, it, where there's results. And so, you know, some of you guys may have heard of Silva, the Silva method. It's what's wonderful. It's really answered prayer. Like I've just taught you. Um, it's really all the scriptural verses, but uh, he would do this. Jose Silva would do this. He would start and he called it mind body healing where um, they, they, they could hear virtually anything by, by trusting in the subconscious or that spirit, the anointing within you to do it all by itself. And the key is get yourself out of your, your physical sentence. You calm yourself down and you go within that secret place. And you experience it as if it's already done mentally and emotionally within. Then trusting, like, I'm giving that to you, God. Bring it to me. And that's it. But here's what he would do to show people how powerful and submissive and how quick the spirit is, guys. So he actually taught uh, another oncologist, Dr. O. Carl Simonton, who had an oncology Simonton Research Institute. And he said, uh, to heal cancer, this was for him. It was the most powerful single tool I have to offer the patient. I've always said, Western medicine, you should do it. Um, but it's enough to, it's there to get you to believe that you can be whole. And so, um, to really experience this. And so what he would do though, he would ask for a volunteer to come up and he would get them into a suggested state by breathing and just calmly talking to them. And the, any of you can do this, which is so cool. And then he would, in front of all the whole crowd, he would say this, he had a whiteboard and a marker and he'd say, um, this marker now in my hand is actually a, a red hot poker. And when I touch it to your skin, it's going to be extremely hot. And it's literally a marker. It's just a marker that you would write on a whiteboard with. And this person that's in the suggestive state, meaning he's, he's not with his physical senses, but his heart is totally willing and available to do and respond to anything you teach it. And he would touch it and it would literally blister in front of them and the crowd would be amazed. And then he would do this. He, he would say the same thing because they're still in the suggestive state. Now I'm reading this from, uh, uh, this is kind of, it's an interesting article about what he would do. Then he would proceed to put his hand on, his, on the wound and say, <clears throat> uh, I can heal that wound in seconds the minute I put my hand on it. He would proceed to put his hand on the wound and the blister would completely disappear within seconds. So this isn't this long drawn out thing, guys. Um, a good father would, would not make it hard to give you what he's freely given you, which is everything. He wants you to know how to do it, how to tap into the secret place, the anointing within. And so um, I'll just give you other examples too. You know, Greg Braden, Divine Matrix, and some of you guys, you can probably find it on the internet yet if you search, it's the Medicineless Hospital in China where they had a 96% success rate healing anything, whether it's cancer or whatever. Why? Because it's the, it's the unlimited power of God within man, guys, which the scripture is talking about. And he says, the physical simply mirrors what we create with our hearts and minds. And so this, this woman had uh, bladder cancer and they showed it and he said, um, they didn't judge the tumor, whether it was right or wrong. It was just one possibility of many possibilities existed. And they said, we simply are going to choose a different possibility. They knew the language of prayer, quote, that's what he says. <clears throat> so they didn't yell at the tumor or anything like that. People are like, oh, I, I bind you. <laughs> that's silly. This thing has to go. No, they felt the feeling in their heart, <clears throat> knowing uh, they felt the feelings as if she was fully whole. So they would practice this. They would go, you know what? If we saw her completely, completely whole and free from cancer what emotions would we feel and so they passed air is tense they experienced it as if it's already happened with ongoing results it's so amazing and you can see them get excited if you ever watch it and all they're doing is they're simply seeing her completely whole and the joy of and her amazement like oh my god i'm completely whole and then giving it to god trusting is, is really trusting in the spirit within you to do it so they felt the feeling of gratitude and appreciation that it had already occurred they knew that the physical world absolutely conforms to the field they're creating with their hearts and minds. It's just the imagination and the emotion they're, they're feeling. You know, if you had ever, uh, if you've ever heard Neville, he would say this all the time. The secret of prayer is simply this, or the secret of the power of God is to assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So what is your desire? Whether you want uh, the problem to be resolved for you, how, how peaceful, how, how joyful, how free, how, at ease, like, oh my God, it feels so great that the problem's resolved. Assume, if you go look it up, is just accept as true. So if the end result, if you were praying for a certain amount of money, oh my God, if I had that much, this, and I've told people that on the fellowships, 
hey, if you were, if you got this much money today, what would you do? And every one of them do this. Oh, that would be so amazing. All right. If that result would cause that to be so amazing, here's what's amazing the part about uh, the spirit. You can feel so amazing and experience it in your in within as if it's already happened. It'll cause it to happen. That's how it works. So assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled is staying in that emotional state and knowing that it, it works, guys. I'm not trying to go, it's not trying to live a level of faith, et cetera. It's literally experiencing it where, oh, it's so amazing that I've received this amount of money. It feels so, I'm so at peace, Lord. I remember when I was struggling, didn't know where it was going to come from. And I simply did this. I saw myself already enjoying it. I'm, and you're playing this out in your mind. It's so amazing how awesome and faithful and loving your anointing is. I'm blown away that it brings it to me. Thank you, God. And now trusting God to completely do it. In fact, look for it the next few days that the prayer has been answered. You'll see evidence of it. That's it. So I'll just share a couple more just to show you that all the guys getting results do the same thing. Um, uh, this is Dispenza on, he's got an article. If you go on this page, it says prayer changes everything. <clears throat> he says, it's essentially holding a specific outcome in your mind. You see yourself experiencing, you actually see yourself talking um, and saying these things, you hold a specific outcome in your mind with the objective of connecting to a greater power for assistance. That's tapping into the anointing within is what Christians would call it. Because prayer and faith go hand in hand. We could say that faith is believing in thought more than anything else, knowing that what I just go experience in my quiet time in my, in my secret place is the literal power of God that's bringing it to pass, guys. So when you see yourself going, you, you play it out in your mind where you're going, I had this problem and i gave it to you god it's so amazing that i simply had to give it to you and then just go you know what i know that every prayer verse is 100 percent assurance and you see yourself saying i had this problem i'm blown away that's completely resolved itself i'm so in awe god of how good you are i'm so in awe that everything i could ever have is freely available at any time and then right before bed give it to god going god i'm giving you that complete trust knowing that the anointing is going to bring it to pass with no effort of my own it'll be clear to me what to do thank you father and when you wake up in the morning again you trust you look for evidence if you ever think of it you go it's so amazing that it's completely taken care of i'm so you see yourself already enjoying the answers if it's already happened and then it says this it says um uh we could say we get up from our prayer as if our desire has already happened we are in the right state of mind and body in other words we're in a new state of being meaning they they already ex experienced their prayer believe you have received it so experience yourself see yourself saying that to yourself i had this problem i'm blown away how easy and how amazing you are god you completely took care of all of it for me and i give it to you and go to sleep and trust the anointing to bring it to you there's no responsibility on yourself guys you're, you're simply just enjoying the anointing within. And that's how it works. So I hope that helps us. God bless.